Initiative 1811, what can we do about the cost of health care in the U.S.? 18 means that the U.S. spends 18% of GDP on health care, whereas other comparable industrialized nations spend Same. only 11% on GDP. We understand that the U.S. should have a higher amount of spend based on the wealth of the country, but we believe that the gap between 18 and 11 is too much. Correct. Yes, I, I would agree with that. Um, What's disconcerting about it is just because we're clogging up our economy with um, health care, we're not necessarily getting the quality or the services. There's still lots of disparities that need to be addressed within the health care system. Yeah, I think it's great that actuaries, along with the Kaiser Family Foundation, are now doing Initiative 1811 so that we can take actions and to reduce the cost of healthcare in the United States. Yes. But at the same time, leverage the skill sets and the familiarity with healthcare that actuaries bring to the table to contribute to this this type of um, need that the United States has. I, I agree 100%. It's going to be... Is, there is not going to be an easy solution to this. We have political problems we have to address. There are um, lots of resistance from lots of quarters. But I really think between our two organizations, we yeah. can make an impact. Larry, what was your reaction when the Society of Actuaries first approached you about a partnership on Initiative 1811? Um, I, I was thrilled. I mean, we have wanted to work more closely with the society, and this seemed like a great opportunity. I mean, combining the analytic firepower of the society and the member actuaries and the Kaiser Family Foundation's uh, expertise in policy and our ability to communicate and, and translate difficult information. So, uh, you know, this seems like, uh, I mean, I think this can produce great information to help the profession, uh, but also really good information to help the media understand uh, healthcare spending issues uh, and policymakers as well. Yes. Um, and, uh, you know, the, um, uh, you know we, we all struggled with what to call this initiative. Uh, and I think we, we hit on a, a, you know, a really good, uh, good tagline, a good name, um, you know, to communicate that, uh, you know, we in the United States spend a lot more than other countries on health care uh, and we get less for it. Yeah, I agree with that because whenever people ask what Initiative 1811 is, I quickly walk through how we came up with the name and then it becomes very clear what it is we're trying to do. Yeah, it's not, a, I, I think uh, people look at the name 1811 and they don't necessarily know immediately what it means, but it's uh, sort of a conversation starter, yes. uh, which I think is you know, really what this initiative is about, is to start this conversation yes. uh, and start to produce analysis to help inform the discussion. Um, and, and I hope, you know, it's, um, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not immersed in the society as, as much as you all are, but, uh, you know, I really hope this initiative can, uh, you know, can take the incredible expertise that, that actuaries and the society have uh, and, and broaden the audience for that. Uh, you know, get that information out there uh, to have a discussion about how, how we reduce uh, health spending growth, uh, you know, whether it's uh, improving uh, improving health, uh, getting people healthier, since we know that a small percentage of the population drives, you know, a big share of the spending, uh, or dealing with prices. I mean, you know, increasing prices are a, are a big reason why health spending has been going up lately. Society of Actuaries has about 4,000 health actuaries in practice. Um, this initiative um, really puts a stake in the ground for this conversation. So now we have something that we can anchor around, and here at the SOA Health Meeting this week, we are formally launching the conversation and engaging everyone in the profession. So um, we are really looking for uh, practicing actuaries out there to put their heads together, generate ideas and thoughts um, around the action plans that we're putting together. And in, in addition, there may be things that we haven't thought of. I know we've brought a lot of smart people together in this conversation, but there's a lot of other people that haven't had a chance to participate. And so now we're starting to engage them in this work and uh, whether it's uh, research or other types of projects, we need the health actuaries to not only just add their point of view to the conversation, but to also volunteer their time and put their efforts behind this. And I think with, with this type of, um, with this group of people, this many people behind it, I think we can accomplish a lot.